Next is question number 10.10. The question is predict all alkenes that would be formed by dehydrohalogenation of the following halides with sodium ethoxide and ethanol and identify the major alkene. So here the question says that the process is going to be dehydrohalogenation. So when it says dehydrohalogenation, D meaning it is a removal. All right. Hydro, you're trying to remove a hydrogen and halogenation, you're trying to remove a halogen. So through the process, you are going to remove dehydrohalogen. You're going to remove hydrogen and a halogen to form alkene. And from where are you going to do that? There is a certain halide going to be given to us. You are going to do dehydrohalogenation to form an alkene. For this, the reagents required are also given to us sodium ethoxide and in ethanol. All right, sodium ethoxide in ethanol. So let's write down what is the first question given to us. We are given with 1 bromo, 1 methyl, cyclo, so this is our starting material from this you are going to prepare some alkene using sodium ethoxide and you are going to identify which, are, which is the major alkene out of it. So now whenever we learn dehydrohalogenation you have come across something called as beta elimination or you've come across something called as Sadziff rule. Either it's this spelling or you have in some books with this spelling. This is the rule that you've learnt. So we're going to follow this rule and going to do this entire question. Let's draw the structure first. Your main hydrocarbon is cyclohexane. So cyclohexane is nothing but a hexane ring. On first position, I have a methyl group. On first position, I have a bromo group also. So, considering this as my first position, I am just putting Br here and CH3 as per the name given to us. Now, this is my compound. I am going to add reactant, the, uh, the reagents given to me. So, the first reagent mentioned here is sodium ethoxide. Ethoxide means on an ethane chain you have an oxide group. So I have C2H5 ONA and ethanol which is C2H5 OH. Alright, now when we try to do a, a beta elimination or a seeds of fuel, you need your reagent to act as a base. That base is provided by sodium ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide is a very strong base. Now, when you are trying to do this, the, the process is beta elimination. Now, what is the beta elimination? Alright, so here remember, there is a halogen here. Halogen is bonded to a carbon which is alpha carbon. Next to this alpha carbon, whatever carbons you have is beta carbon. So attached to this point, you have this carbon which is a beta carbon. Attached to this, here you have a carbon which is beta carbon. And attached to this, again you have this as your beta carbon. So now in the same compound, I have three beta carbons. So which means I can get my different products here. But the thing here is, out of the three beta carbons, the beta carbon here and the beta carbon here are the same. They contain the same number of hydrogen atoms. So we can consider any one beta carbon. So when I say beta carbon is from there, which means here on one of the beta carbon, I will have two hydrogens in order to maintain that valency of that carbon. So when I say beta carbon, hydrogen is eliminated from the beta carbon. All right, the entire process is where the hydrogen is eliminated from the beta carbon. So here, hydrogen from here and Br over here will move out. 
Now when they move out, you will form a double bond in the center. So that can be one of my product where from that ring beta carbon, one of the hydrogen goes out, I form a double bond here. So one bond from here is broken, one bond from here is broken and I get a double bond here. That's one of my product. The other beta carbon from where I can take is this beta carbon. All right, from this beta carbon I can take. So this is the Br, from here the, the Br will go out. From this beta carbon, one of the hydrogens can go out. I can form a double bond outside the ring. So now I can form double bond and a CH2. This beta carbon is the same as the one over here. So these two are there now. Now the entire thing is which one is major because I have two products. So go back in the question count how many hydrogens were initially there from that beta position. If you are looking at this beta position I had two hydrogens in total. If I look at this beta position I had three hydrogens. So as per Sage's of rule it says that hydrogen is eliminated from that carbon that contains least number of hydrogen atom. So it is going to be this one, the product formed from here is going to be a major product. So this one is the major product and this is going to be the minor product. So basically we are going to look at the say a beta, beta hydrogen, beta carbon and eliminate it but when you look at the beta carbon if you have more than one beta carbon then you are going to consider that beta carbon which follows the seeds of rule which means you need to consider that particular carbon that contains the least number of hydrogen atom all right now next one is second one in the second question my compound here is going to be two Fluoro to methyl butane. That's my reactant. Now, here I'm going to first draw the structure. It says butane chain on second position of methyl and second position of chloro group. So, here I have CH3. CH will not come. Instead, since I have two groups over here, I have one Cl, one methyl group, and then the remaining is the chain. So, this is my compound now. Again, the reagents are the same. Sodium, ethoxide, and ethanol. Alright, so I'll just change the color of the beta carbons just for your information. So here I'm going to have this as CH3, right? I'm going to have your CH3, CH3, CH2. All right. Now here the identification of the beta carbons first because it's important. So here I have a halogen. Halogen is bonded to a carbon. This is alpha carbon. Attached to the alpha carbon, I have other three car uh, carbons, which are the beta carbons. All right. Now, when you consider the beta carbons, two beta carbons are the same, which means the CH3, CH3, same number. So I'm going to consider only one beta carbon, not more than that. So here I have two beta carbons here. Now in these two, which one is going to form a major product? So as I've told you, from one beta carbon hydrogen goes off and forms a double bond over here. From here one beta carbon will go carbon hydrogen goes off and you form a double bond here. So now when I'm trying to write the compound, this is going to give me CH3, C, CH3 here, a double bond, CH, CH3. So what have I done from this beta carbon? I've eliminated one hydrogen and this chlorine and then I've got a double bond here. Now we'll do the other thing, the other elimination over here. 
So this is going to start with a double bond. Alright. And it's going to form the entire chain. So here what I've done, one hydrogen, one chlorine and a double bond forms over here. So I form both of this. Now, when you go back and check the sets of rule, it says elimination of the hydrogen from that beta carbon that contains least number of hydrogen atom. This beta carbon had three hydrogens. This beta carbon has two hydrogens. So which one would be the major product? Hydrogen eliminated from this beta carbon will be the major product. So this is going to be the major product and this one is going to be the minor product all right now the last one which is the third one it says two two three tri methyl three bromo pentane now again on a 5 carbon chain I have at position number 2 2 methyl groups so I am going to put 2 methyl groups on position number 2 then I am going to have on position number 3 1 methyl group because it is mentioned 3 here and on another third position I have BR and I am going to have the remaining as my pentane chain now to this I am going to add the same reagents, no difference. Alright. Now, first things, identify the beta hydro, beta carbons. So here I will just change the color of the beta carbon. So it is easy for you all to understand it. So these are the beta carbons because this is the halogen is bonded to a carbon which is alpha. Alpha is bonded to three other bonds. So this is the beta, this is beta and this is beta. Now if you consider the three beta carbons that you have, they have varying number of hydrogens. Right? They are not the same. They are all different. So if you look at it, the first beta carbon here has two hydrogens. This has three. This has no hydrogen. Now when you look at this particular carbon, it has no hydrogen so this beta carbon is completely eliminated because a beta carbon needs to have a hydrogen to eliminate a hydrogen from it. So that particular beta carbon is not going to be considered. So let's take it off. Alright, so the other beta carbons are what we are going to consider. Method is the same. Bromine atom and one hydrogen from here will move out and a double bond forms here. That's going to make my first product. <coughs> Alright, so there's going to be a double bond here. CH, CH3. And then the same thing I'm going to repeat over here. This VR and this hydrogen goes off and I'm going to form a double bond over here. So when I write my product, it is CH3. Then also I have a CH3. C, double bond, CH2. CH2, CH3. Now, now that you've got two products over here, which one is going to be the major product? So of the two beta carbons, which one had the least number of hydrogen atom? It is this particular carbon. So that means a double bond formed over here. That product is going to be major product. All right. And of course, the other product is going to be a minor product. So like this, this is a question based on sets of rule where you can form your major minor product. But you need to identify the beta carbons. For that you need to identify which is your alpha carbon for the entire compound. Alright.